In part 5 of our lesson on polar equations and graphs, we will sketch the polar equation graph of a four-leaf rose. In this example, we will sketch a graph of r equals 4 cosine 2 theta. We will use its symmetries to simplify the graphing process. You may remember that in an earlier lesson, we found all the symmetries for this polar equation, r equals 4 cosine 2 theta, and discovered that it had all three types of symmetries. So that will help us greatly in our graphing process. Just a reminder that we will use approximations for radical 2 over 2, we will use 0.7, and for radical 3 over 2, we will use 0.9. So let's get started here. We begin with theta equals 0 degrees. Now the argument of the cosine function is 2 theta. So because of that, any angle that we input, the first thing we have to do is double it. So, of course, doubling 0 degrees, we still have 0 degrees. The cosine of 0 degrees is 1. So to calculate r, we will be taking 4 times 1, which is 4. So we will plot the polar point 4, 0 degrees. So coming over here to our graph, we start at the pole, we point towards 0 degrees, and we walk out a distance of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we put a point there. Now the next angle that we would plug in, rather than plug in 30 degrees next, because we are doubling this angle, we could actually plug in 15 degrees, because when it doubles, it becomes 30 degrees. We know that the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to radical 3 over 2, so then that means we are going to be taking 4 times 0.9, which is 3.6. So we will plot the point 3.6, comma, 15 degrees. Now on our polar graph here, we see 0 is here, 30 degrees is here, so that means 15 degrees is here. So we start at the pole, point towards 15 degrees, and walk out a distance of 3.6. So 1, 2, 3.6. Next, we will plug in 30 degrees. 2 theta is then 60 degrees. The cosine of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. To find r, we will take 4 times 0.5, which is equal to 2. Our polar point then is 2, comma, 30 degrees. We start at the pole, aim towards 30 degrees, and walk out a distance of 1, 2, and we put a point there. Next, we can plug in 45 degrees. When we double that, it becomes 90 degrees. The cosine of 90 degrees is 0. To 
calculate r, we take 4 times 0, which is equal to 0. So our polar coordinate point is 0, 45 degrees. So we start at the pole, point towards 45, but then we go a distance of 0, which means we put a point right there at the pole. So let's go ahead and start connecting this curve here. We have to connect the points in order. After 45, it looks like each time we're going to want to go up by 15 degrees here. So let's go ahead and plug in 60 degrees. When we double that, we get 120 degrees. The cosine of 120 degrees is negative one half. To calculate r, we take four times negative 0.5 and we get negative 2. So our polar coordinate then is going to be negative 2 comma 60 degrees. So we start at the pole. We point our faces towards 60 degrees but we know we're not going to walk towards 60 degrees. We are going to have to walk away from 60 degrees, which means we're actually walking towards 240. But we're pointing our faces towards 60 degrees and backing up by 2. So here is that point at negative 260. Our next angle will be 75 degrees. When we double that, we get 150 degrees. The cosine of 150 degrees is negative radical 3 over 2. So to calculate r, we will take 4 times negative 0.9 and we get negative 3.6. So our polar coordinate point will be negative 3.6 comma 75 degrees. So coming over to our graph, we know that 75 degrees will be between 60 and 90. So this is 75 degrees here. We start at the pole. We are looking towards 75 degrees, but we have to back up by 1, 2, 3.6 and put a point there. The next angle we'll plug in is going to be 90 degrees. When we double that, we get 180 degrees. The cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. To calculate r, we have 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. Our polar coordinate point then is negative 4, comma, 90 degrees. So on the graph, we start at the pole, point our face towards 90 degrees, and back up by 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's connect these points. So now we've plotted all our quadrant 1 points. Let's kind of put a quadrant 1 up here above this column. Now that we have all of our quadrant 1 points, we can start to use the symmetries because remember, r equals 4 cosine 2 theta 
ended up having every possible symmetry, all three of them. Once we have quadrant one points, then we know we can use the vertical axis symmetry, which is theta equals pi over two symmetry, to get our quadrant two points. Let me remind you that you want to go in order. So we have gotten all the way up to 90 degrees. So the next angle, if we look at our polar graph here, the next angle after 90 is going to be 105 degrees. Now 105 degrees, you know, if we're using that vertical axis symmetry, will be symmetric to the point at 75 degrees. So we will begin to work our way upward through the points to get all the symmetric points kind of for free. So because there is a point negative 3.675 degrees, remember when we are symmetric to theta equals pi over 2, that means that what happened was you can take pi minus theta. Well, since we're in degrees this time, instead of taking pi minus theta, we are going to think of it as taking 180 degrees minus theta. So if we take 180 degrees minus 75 degrees, then that means we are going to get the point negative 3.6 comma 105 degrees because 180 minus 75 is 105. So then we will start at the pole, point our faces towards 105 degrees, but we have to back up by 1, 2, 3, point 6 and we put a point here. And that means our graph will curve around to here. Next, if we have negative 2 comma 60, then that means we are going to have negative 2 comma 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. We come over here to the pole, point our faces towards 120 degrees and then back up by 1, 2, which is right here. So this continues to curve around. Next we have 0, 45 degrees, so that will become 0. We have to take 180 minus 45 degrees, 135 degrees. We start at the pole, point our faces towards 135, but then we actually don't travel anywhere. So that means we're back at the pole. We connect. Remember, you have to connect the points in order of increasing angles. Our next point is 2 comma 30, so that's going to become 2 comma 180 minus 30, which is 150. So we start at the pole and we walk towards 150, a distance of 1, 2. So that's right here. Next we have 3.6 comma 15 degrees, so that's going to become 3.6 comma 180 minus 15, which is 165 degrees. Coming over to our polar graph, this is 150, this is 180, so 165 degrees will be right here. We start at the pole and we walk out 1, 2, 3.6.
Next we have 4 comma 0, so this will become 4 comma 180 minus 0 is 180 degrees. So we start at the pole, point towards 180 degrees, and walk out a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we have all of our quadrant 2 angles, and next we will want to do our quadrant 3 angles. And that's going to come from the pole symmetry. So remember that when we are doing pole symmetry, we replace theta with pi plus theta. Well, because we are in degrees, to get our quadrant 3 angles, instead of doing pi plus theta, we will do 180 degrees plus theta. So now we just plotted a point at 180 degrees, that's the last point we plotted. We know the next point that we would be wanting to plot is 195 degrees. So we can see the way we're going to get to 195 degrees is to start from this point at 15 degrees and add the 180 degrees. So using pole symmetry, we know that the point 3.615 degrees is going to become 3.6 comma 15 degrees plus 180, which is 195 degrees. So we come over to the pole, we point towards 195 and walk out a distance of 1 to 3.6. Connect that up. Next, we have 2 comma 30 which will become 2 comma 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees. Starting at the pole, we face towards 210 and walk out a distance of 2. Next we have 0, 45 degrees is going to become 0 180 plus 45 is 225. So that means we start at the pole, point towards 225, but then we walk a distance of 0. So we're back here at the pole, connecting up in order. Next we have negative 2 comma 60 so that's going to become negative 2 comma 180 plus 60, 240 degrees. We start at the pole, we face towards 240, but we don't walk towards 240. We have to back up by 1, 2. Next up, we have the point negative 3.675 degrees. So that's going to become negative 3.6 comma 75 plus 180 degrees, which is 255 degrees. So we come over to the pole we point towards 255 degrees, which would be here, and we have to back up by 1, 2, 3.6. Next, we have the point negative 4, comma 90, so that's going to become negative 4, 
comma, 180 plus 90, which is 270. Starting at the pole, we point our faces towards 270, and then we back up by 1, 2, 3, 4, Now to get the quadrant 4 points, we can start from our quadrant 1 points and imagine going over the polar axis, which is the horizontal axis. So it's our polar axis symmetry that will give us the quadrant 4 points. Now remember, the test for polar axis symmetry says you plug in negative theta. Now our graph doesn't have any negative angles on it, but we have learned already from the negative angle we can convert to the coterminal positive angle. We have gotten as far as plugging in through theta equals 270, Looking at our polar graph, here's 270. After 270 would be 285. Now making use of our polar axis symmetry, we know that 285 degrees is going to be symmetric to 75 degrees. So that means we will start with this point here, negative 3.6 comma 75 is going to become negative 3.6. Now it would be negative 75 degrees, but we know that negative 75 degrees is going to be coterminal with positive 285 degrees. So we will start at the pole, look towards 285 degrees, but we know that we have to back up by 1, 2, 3.6. Next we have negative 2 comma 60, so that would become negative 2 comma negative 60 we know is coterminal with 300. So we start at the pole, look towards 300 degrees, but back up by 1, 2. We have 0, 45, which would be 0, negative 45, but we know that negative 45 is coterminal with 315. So we start at the pole, look towards 315, and then don't go anywhere because our radius is zero. So here we are at the pole, connecting up. Next up is 2 comma 30 degrees. So that becomes 2 comma we know that negative 30 degrees would be coterminal with 330 degrees. So we start at the pole, look towards 330, and walk out a distance of 1, 2, put a point there. Next is 3.6 comma 15 degrees, so 3.6 comma negative 15 degrees is going to be coterminal with 345 degrees. So we start at the pole and walk out towards 345 degrees, a distance of 1, 2, 3, Point six. And then finally, 
if we have 4 comma 0, that's going to be the same as 4 negative 0, if you will, which is 360 degrees we could use. So that goes here, and we connect up. So the only points we ended up having to plug in were all the quadrant one points where we had to go through all the laborious steps of plugging in. After that, we could use the symmetries. Once you have quadrant one, we got to use theta equals pi over two symmetry to get all of our quadrant two points. To get our quadrant three points, we started with our quadrant one points and we added 180 degrees to the angles to get our quadrant three points. To get our quadrant four points, we started with quadrant one and we did the negative angle and then found the corresponding coterminal positive angle to get us all of our quadrant four points. So this is called a four-leaf rose. And looking at it, you can see all the symmetries. It has the vertical axis symmetry of theta equals pi over 2. It folds over itself. It has pole symmetry, meaning if you folded it over the horizontal and then the vertical, it would line up on itself. Or you can think of it as taking any point, going straight through the pole, an equal distance, and you land on a point on the graph again. It also has polar axis symmetry, meaning horizontal axis symmetry. If we take any point and fold it over on itself, it lands right on the graph again. So there is our four-leaf rose.